Welcome. In this video, I'm going to go over the procedure for installing Mac ports on Mac OS Big Sur. And this video is for the Intel Macs. I'll have a newer Mac with the new M1 chip in a few weeks, and I'll try to make a video with it when it arrives. So the first thing we need to do is go to the App Store. So it's down here in the dock, and if it's not in the dock, you can check your Applications folder. Okay, it says what's new in the App Store. I'll hit Continue. Next, I'll go up to the Search and search for Xcode. I'll click on the get next to it. I'll click install. It will ask me for my Apple ID. I'll enter that, I'll hit get. It'll ask me for my password, so I'll enter that. I have two-factor authentication turned on, so it will ask for my code. So I'll enter that, and now it should start to download. So I'm going to cut the video here, and I'll resume when it's done downloading. Okay, that has completed downloading, so I'll close the App Store. Now I want to open a terminal. So you can type command space and just type in terminal, and it should open the terminal app for you. You can also go to the finder, and then go to applications, and then scroll down to the utilities folder, and you'll find terminal in here. I'll make this a little bigger. And here you want to type in xcode dash select space dash dash install. I'll hit enter, I'll hit install, I'll hit agree, Okay, now that's downloading. It says it's going to take two hours. I don't think this is going to take two hours. Okay, that's completed. I'll hit done here. I'll clear my screen. Next, I'm going to type sudo space xcode build space dash license. I'll hit enter. I'll enter my password. I'll hit enter to view the license. I'll hit the space bar to read through it. When I get to the bottom, I'll type in agree. I'll hit enter. Okay, so that's completed. I'll clear this. Next, I'll go to my web browser. I'll go to macports.org. I'll hit enter. I'll click on the installing macports tab. I'll click on macOS Big Sur. I'll allow the download. I'll go to the downloads arrow in the upper right. I'll click on the magnifying glass. That'll take me to the downloads folder. I'll double click on this to install it. I'll hit continue, continue, continue. I'll hit agree. I'll hit the volume I want to install this on. I have this on an external disk right now just for this video, but most people will probably only have one disk here. So you want your system drive. I'll hit continue. I'll hit install. I'll enter in my password. And now it's installing Mac ports. Okay, that has completed. I'll hit close here. I'll keep the installer for now. It doesn't matter if you keep it or get rid of it. I'll close all of these down. I'll go into my terminal, and I'll actually close this terminal and I'll open a new one up. So I just hit Command W to close and Command N to open a new terminal. To expand it here, I'm just typing Command plus. So now we have Mac ports installed, I can type in sudo space port space self update. I'll hit enter. It'll ask me for my password, I'll type that in. And now we'll update Mac ports. You want to update before you install anything. Okay, that finished. Now you can type in sudo space port space upgrade space outdated. I'll hit enter there. It says nothing to upgrade. I'll clear my screen. So now you can install software. So I'll type in sudo space port space install space fortune. I'll hit enter. I'll say yes. Okay, that finished, so I'll clear my screen. So now we can run Fortune, and this will give us a little quote every time we run it. So that's a good one to test that you have Mac ports up and running. So some of my favorite ports are FFmpeg, Image Magic. I like the XC compression utility. If you go back to the Mac ports website and go to available ports, an easy way to search for them is to search here, if it works, let's see. That seems to be down right now for some reason. That's not very convenient for my video. <laughs> so normally you can go to this page and there'll be a search engine on there that you can search for ports. So I'll clear this. So if you wanted to install some software like FFmpeg, you just type sudo space port space install space FFmpeg and it would install FFmpeg. So I really like the Mac ports package because it adds a repository that you can install lots of software with just like you can on any Linux distribution. 
So that's all for this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.